Sheriff, ma'am. Emergency. Please step aside, sir. Hey, 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 get lost. I'm waiting here, huh? FBI, you might want to stay out of this, all right, sir? Excuse me, sir, ma'am. Please, back off. All right, I need eight double tall. You know, it, you have to wonder. I, I have been on the hunt for the 13th Skull, and I have been to Hilton Head. I have been to Tokyo. I have been high in the mountains of Peru. And I have also went to the moon, Mr. Kramer. And wow. I still, the 13th Skull, Every time I try to get him in my grass, I get this right flashing in the sky. Oh and he's just heckling me. He's just like the 13th skull within my grasp. But listen, it's kind of like these UFOs, baby. I've been seeing UFOs every morning when i wake up <laughs> after my coffee and especially after work on the way back from the cantina after i had a few of these spotchkas let me tell you something my man then i really see these ufos going oh my goodness I, I, am i live or am i recording lane what's going on everything is going fantastic and it sounds like Aries, you need a lot of spotchkas over the last couple months for how busy you've been but you know if we are back tonight so i do have to say to everybody in chat it is so wonderful to be back here and let's not forget in glorious hot toys wizard technicola brought to you by t k fomo productions it is I, I time for the aries Terrington show live. Okay, I, I'm telling you, Lade, well. listen, I, <laughs> in my pursuit, I can't. This is an emergency. Interruption. 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 Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe, because what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Win the evil empire and, and, and Darth Vader and all this stuff and everything else. Run off again! That just says TK FOMO. TK FOMO is power is greater than we all possibly imagine. Or even a Sith Lord cannot escape his influence. That was Darth FOMO, baby. I, I need to hear from TK FOMO. We've heard a little bit from Captain Crunch. And you have to wonder, <laughs> is it possible, Abe, that we will hear from Captain Crunch sometime during this show? What say you, my friend? I say he's going to say, snap into it like a slim Jim. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Well, listen, so everybody knows that was not planned. So that just shows how imperfectly synced we are, baby. I'm, I, I, I am telling you. Welcome everyone to a live edition of the Aries Charity Show, right here at Six Scale Cantina, and this is going to be a great show. For a lot of you to be able to participate, ask anything you want in the chat. If there's something specifically you want me to stay on, you can also always super chat it. And if it's appropriate, if it's appropriate, <laughs> I'll go ahead and add it as a topic. And we'll go ahead and, uh, and, and talk about it, you know, for sure. But listen, a lot of the things from the insider news that I get in my pursuit, uh, you know, for the 13th Skull, in trying to find these ancient action figures. We're going to go over a lot of that today from the shows the last couple of weeks. And now I get to hear from you on your thoughts and Lane's thoughts, too, on some of these videos. So that's kind of what we have in store today, Lane. Yep. 
But don't forget, I find your lack, your lack of hitting the light button disturbing. Oh, so now you're going to... Make sure you hit it. Make sure, <laughs> make sure you hit it tonight because Aries Tarrington, the Hot Toys Wizard, TK FOMO, and all the rest of the Spotchka coffee drinkers in the cantina will most righteously appreciate it. Well, I, now I have to find the, 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 the clip for you, buddy. I find your lack of faith disturbing. <laughs> but listen, let's go ahead and get, wait a minute, looks like I'm getting a uh -oh. call. Uh-oh, what happened? Could it be from the 13th Skull Lane? Let I mean, me pick it up. And... Of, you're a popular guy, man. Could wow, I mean, that, let, me, let me pick it up and find out. Uh, hello? A collect call from the moon. Uh -oh. Yes, I, I, I accept the charges. Hello? Howard? Uh, Howard, uh, Mr. Chan. You're you're watching Six Scale Cantina live. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that that is that is just so awesome. That that is that is oh well, yes, I still love hot toys. Yes, hot toys, hot toys is my life, uh, uh Mr. Chan. Th this is awesome. Mm-hmm. I've got Lane right here with me. Uh what do you mean Lane's with you? Wait, wait, no, no. I got Lane. Lane Lane is here with 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 me uh, on this show. You gotta mention something. You're 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 actually with Lane, and Lane's the thirteenth skull. Wait a minute, how, Lane Kramer is here. How can Lane? <laughs> wait, how can Lane be? So so you're not Howard Chan from here. Mm. You're Howard from a different timeline reality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And where you are, Lane is the president of Hot Toys, and he has he has. A million subscribers. Let, let, mm -hmm. yep. I've got no subscribers. Well, well, okay. Well, listen. What what about like some of the stuff that's what? What, what do you mean? What do we know? Too, too pushy. Wait, Howard. Howard. Lane. Uh... There's a reason they call me the the million sub man. <laughs> I mean, you well, know. I'm sorry, sorry to read that you thought I was from the lane from your timeline. Well, dude, I li listen, I, I need to ask you straight out. Are you the 13th skull or are you yeah, Lane yeah. Kramer? What, what, what? Cause I feel like, am I in this reality or am I in that reality? You got to tell me right now, Lane, what's going on. That depends on the day of the week that you're on, but uh, I, wait, I, I have a way to find out. Uh -oh. It's going to be your reaction. Yeah. If you're the 13th skull or if you're lane, you're going to react one way to that. <laughs> not the 13th skull not the 13th the skull your time. <laughs> listen i'm gonna say hi to everybody in the chat go ahead and smash that like button oh there he goes he disappears the late start there and now wait, you're back on went, no what just happened my screen went black and like I've been trying to waiting to see what would happen. Uh, uh, I, 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 I feel like I'm going to get this out. flash in front of me because you're not really late. You're there. <laughs> I was let's, literally hearing let, that sound for the last five minutes. What happened? I, I don't know. But let's go ahead and dive into all of this. All this. Right now. <laughs>
<laughs> that 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 was that was just a little bit fun doing that live. Welcome everybody to the Aries Terrington show. My special guest, I don't think anyway, the 13th skull, Mr. Lane Kramer. Lane, how have you been lately, baby? What's going on? I'm doing so fantastic. Glad to be here tonight. I've been having weird weather, man. It's been like almost 70 to 80 degrees down here in Texas for like the last week, except for this weekend where it yeah. dropped like 20 degrees at the high temperature, man. It's been and, crazy. Yeah. I'm dealing with the same thing in, in Western Pennsylvania. It's, it's supposed to be winter. It was like almost 80 degrees. Wow. Um, and then it was snowing uh, going ahead today. So <laughs> I am right with you. I am right with you, baby, for sure. Well, you have just a good excuse then to be able to play with your figures because you can't literally go out and do anything else. Well, listen, we were just talking backstage. So yeah. I don't know what you've got lately, but I was able to go ahead and procure in my pursuit oh, of the 13th skull. Yeah. This little bad boy right here, dude. This which figure, you know, which this is that of him? This is DX06. Okay, and and I dare say, I'm, I'm telling you, like right now, this this DX06, this Jack Sparrow, is one of the best. It, it, it there's not a figure coming out right now in my collection or that I've seen that you could say is actually better. Van this bad boy. This dude, the dude, this looks just like Johnny Depp from the freaking uh Pirates of the Car uh, the, the Caribbean. What is this one? Dead. I, I don't even know which one it's from. Dead but chess was the second one. Is it yeah? I mean, this is just yeah. it's insane, dude. Man, it's insane yeah. how good this figure is. And, and that I, I'm I'm gonna say uh sorry to Fennec Shan and her Spotchka bottle. <laughs> that bottle of rum. This that bottle of rum wins it, man, dude. Yeah. Come on. I mean, I'm all for Spotska. But look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that lane. Yeah, it looks fantastic. I mean, this this is like it's it's eerie. And it has rolling eyeball function. And wow. I think we got to give Hot Toys credit because this is the DX06. This is going back how many freaking years ago? And Comes with the two head sculpts, the two face sculpts, all this stuff, and I'm just like, wow. I mean, just it's it's just phenomenal. And you know, we, there's a lot of good stuff coming out. Hard to concretely say that's better than this Johnny Depp like this. Back then, they killed yeah. this dude. They killed it. I would definitely say if I had to compare, say, like the facial sculpt to that, like in that that era, like let's say compare that. To the loot facial sculpt for the DX07. Oh God! Th th this one crushes that facial. Th sculpt. This th yeah. this crushes a lot of figures today. Yeah, it's so, almost but, oh facial sculpt wise, it's almost a Soka line line esque for the facial sculpt. Because <laughs> I th I think for the entire line that that line so far has maybe been the best facial sculpts like for the whole thing. But that figure, I love the details with all, you know, the stuff in his hair. Oh, dude, it's, it's, it's like, like I know. Yeah. See if I can pull them off here. Here we go. So, oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, look at that, dude. I mean, geez. Yeah, they did a fantastic, fan, fantastic job. Fantastic. That looks so, I mean, it makes It makes me wish that we would get another Jack Sparrow, like what they could do today. You know, like we got Han Solo not too long ago, early this year, you know, just a little, little after your little sabbatical. Well, I, I may be the while. worst collector, the worst collector you no. ever heard of, but you have heard of me, Lane. Yeah, no, you're definitely not. <laughs> um, now yeah, if, but not, that now, was... now, now, if we see some point here in the near future, like in your bins where we see like in a, you know, like a shelf meant only for six figures and we see you have 10 all crammed in there. So they look like the worst nightmare of the toys from Toy Story. I might say, Aries, we got to have a conversation. <laughs> I know, right? Let's uh, let's go ahead and and say hi oh, to some of the people, people that, here, that that are in here. Let's uh, let's see what's going on before we thirty. Say hi to some of them. And we got here. Is this the songwriter? Is he is he in here? He said he's at table sixty six, the thirteenth skull filled with Spotchka. Always good to have my buddy here, the single songwriter. At table 66. God, do I have something queued up for that? Cool. 
He knows how to hit the ones I like, people. He knows how to hit the ones I like. <laughs> After made me suffer a little bit or suffer a little bit earlier, but now he made brought the smile. How about Charlie the Unicorn in the house? So yep. good to see you, eyes. Uh, you got you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, all live once again. Do you smell what the wizard is cooking? Well, I, I don't know, Charlie. Is this what they call you, baby? I know you're all waiting for they it. They call him. The wizard. I'll just say, if the wizard's cooking a kale and lima bean special, I don't want to smell what that's cooking like, though. Listen, I'm drinking spotchka, but hobby. Oh, <laughs> uh, you gotta love hobby. Come on, can we can we get a can we get some pilots? Come on, I do got the wizard juice. Oh yeah. Cheers to hobby. Mm. Come on. And continuing to go down over here, we're also going to say hi to Peyton23. Good evening and good evening to you, baby. What is going on for sure? And Thalia is in here. Hello, everyone. Good to have you in the cantina. And we have got Collector's Entity. I yep. like that name. I like it. I like it, Lane. Yeah. I Yeah. <laughs> We got, we got already 40, already 40 watching us, man. Wow. And we're just starting. I know. I I, I have, I like, I, I wasn't expecting, I was hoping I'd get 20 today because I haven't been on forever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Punisher XS getting the Tauntaun milk ready. Ooh, the Tauntaun milk. Come on. Um, I don't think I have a, a Tauntaun clip uh, for him, Lane. But oh, I can I can play you know, uh find out if they smell as well, they if they smell as bad on the inside as they do on the outside. I know, right? Like, dude, I need a taunt on. But Lane, I may have some other milk for a punisher. Oh, no. You know that's breast milk. Okay. No, there there was a different one that I was hoping, I was afraid you were gonna pull out from my favorite from my favorite movie of Black Time. <laughs> What, what 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 movie? Oh no, you're not. No, nope, you're not getting me to fall into that again. We just got started first time. Or I'm just gonna be like this. Pete. <laughs> Listen, every time you do that, you're freaking me out like you're the thirteenth skull. Sebastian Rybal, <laughs> Spotchka toast from Argentina. Thank and you, you have to so wonder: much. is it possible that in Argentina is my next stop? In my quest for the 13th skull, any of you ancient action figure theorists who want to join my quest, come on, let's go. And we've got Patrick 181000 saying hello, Aries, and a Cantina insider lane like you. Ooh. Always appreciate the support. If anybody who is not a member, despite the, the, sh the short break, that Mr. Aries took and stuff from live content. He has still been producing tons of videos, including special specific ones for members, which uh, are all can be viewed, um, have been still coming out since uh, the beginning of the year. So definitely feel free if you are not a member, maybe consider joining. There's always exclusive content, which I can speak to myself that I have watched to keep your Love eyes it, up. Baby. Love it, love it. Yeah, we're coming out with with not only an insider extra um, lane. I got a couple of them, but I'm doing the because uh, I've been pumping those out. Drunk on coffee that didn't go away nowhere. That one we're gonna have a real special one here for insiders. So no, no, appreciate the shout out there. And AJ, another insider. Greetings, friends. Hope all is well. Hope all is well with you. Um. Charlie says UFO unidentified frying <laughs> object in the wizard skill. Look, I dude, love that uh, name, Charlie the Unicorn. That is great. Yeah, I, I look up. We got another insider, the Eric Hinky. What is up, Star Wars Hot Toys? We're gonna talk a, a little lot. Star Wars today. Actually, I want to talk Thor. This drink, I like it. I know it's great, right? Another. Well, regardless, you're 
you're definitely going to get another Thor. Artisan Thor, come on. Um, geez, and we also as got a, as long as it's not a figure produced by uh Watiki, I'll be okay and all on board for it. But Lane, look at this. I haven't you seen the big dog pound. Are you gonna do it with me, buddy? One, one, two, three. Woo! Woo! Always wheeling, good to have dealing big dog pound, son of a gun. And I know big dog pound. I don't have a championship belt on my shoulder like uh, my buddy Chris will always greet you with. So just imagine there's a big gold belt on here, and I've got a long soliloquy how, you know, you are the rootin' tootin' this son of a gun that ever did sit in a Siskel chat. Well, he must be at table five with, with my buddy Popsick. So, and you know who's there is Grogu. Oh. So shout out to Popsick. Shout out to Grogu. Can't wait for the Mando Grogu movie. Big Dog Pound. How the heck's Grogu doing, baby? All right. So you know what's hilarious about this? As I filled up the Big Dog Pound on table five with Grogu. Uh oh, what? All right. No, that clip. Like, I'll play it again and watch carefully. Who is Grogu with? I G eleven, baby. So I G eleven is still in stock. But but IG twelve is waitlisted. Yeah. Well, hey, never forget. Remember, I told you years ago that uh, when that IG eleven first came out, that I traded IG eleven for direct credit, direct trade. You know, years ago. Did you uh, like like you traded your direct credit for IG eleven? No, I traded IG eleven for direct credit. Ah, uh, okay. I was gonna say. I think you may. No, have... no, 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 no. Direct credit. That that's like gonna be if if for some reason I ever have to get out of this hobby. Director Krennic will be one of the last Imperial officer guys are so rare. They're like gonna be one like I, I'd say goodbye to all my mandos, except you know, maybe like a certain guy. Because as if it, if the a certain guy was here tonight, he would say, must keep all Boba Fett's till last second. The OG Boba fan Fett with Star Wars been. was just yeah. oh sh show me that again. Let's blow you up, baby. I want to see that sucker. Yeah. This is my favorite Boba Fett. I've had him for obviously he's been out for a while now, but I love this armor, love this figure, love the backpack because you can actually attach it and not have it fall off ever again. It's great. All right. So but is that one of your get, is that one of your newest ones? Uh I mean I've gotten probably like six or seven since this guy came out, but he's still one of my if you're asking me, like probably that since you got in that Jack Sparrow, you stop and look at him. I stop and look because Boba Fett in my Mando shell is like right up front there with Din Djarin. And like, it's one of my favorite. Now I still need to get a head sculpt for it eventually, but I can't just, I got to have some figure up here. I can't just have you have all the figures in the background where I look like, you know, I'm like, I got to show something, but we got so many figures come in. There's so many figures that could be announced. And I didn't get a chance to say this backstage because we were kind of having to get things put together to come on here. So I'm going to put you the series. I know you said we could all perhaps mm -hmm. have a topic, and this may mm -hmm. be something we're going to talk about. So mm -hmm. I have one thing for us to talk about today mm -hmm. at some point here. And this might relate to something you're already going to mention. We have upcoming, obviously, already announced. We know at some point this year we're going to be hearing them. The Phantom mm -hmm. Menace is coming for the anniversary, 25th. Mm-hmm. I just want to know, and this can go to chat too, and don't have to worry about it this second, guys, but just to come up. What are the two figures, two characters you would like to see from it? It doesn't have to be your favorite one, but just that you would be really in, maybe interested to see. It's not, you know, we can guess certain characters might be coming more likely than others, but this is just meant to be, what, what would be most interesting to you, just even if it's not your favorite character, but just, just to see if Hot Toys even tried to do it, you know, from mm -hmm. it or something. And you can't say the big fish from the middle of Naboo. That's the one thing that's off limits. It has to be somewhat humanoid-esque in size. But I'm interested just to hear what two characters we like. It doesn't have to be one of the main characters. It'd just be like, hey, I would even love to see Hot Toys do a prototype just to see that they tried to do something really different than we've seen them do. So that's just something I want to throw out because we know that lot. We know this. And I'm going to go as much as this is one of my bottom 
bottom Star Wars movies of all time. I'm going to go see this again in movie theaters for the anniversary. But, you know, I, I, I'm, I, the force is telling me I might already be looking at two that Aries would probably say that he wants automatically. Well, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Lane. I, I, you, you're kind of bouncing this off. So mm -hmm. going with what Lane's asking here, what do you all think? We're going to cover 85 years of Batman. We're going to cover Marvel. We're going to cover some. We're going to cover everything that I've talked about, hopefully, over the last couple of weeks. So I'm going to get your opinions on here. Many of you watch my shows. Some of you have been able to see some of the news from beyond, from my pursuit of the 13th Skull, him leaving clues, whether some of these figures are out in alternate realities, baby. Will they be coming to this reality right here? But Lane, the first one I have to bring up, you do have to ask yourself, yes, what is front and center besides them all, all over from Disney? And that is the queen yes. in this outfit. And I'm going to be honest with you. I think that they're putting out this queen. That is a showpiece for Hot Toys if they're able to nail it. I'm telling you, baby. But I'll be honest with you as well. Besides just the queen, everything on this poster, let's just be honest. You've got Maul. That Qui-Gon, that Obi-Wan, which they're OS and Obi-Wan, you know, the Padawan Obi-Wan uh, here. And Maul, I think you're going to get Maul, the Queen, Qui-Gon, and Obi-Wan, the four characters that are on this on this poster, Lane. What, what do you think? Do you think we'll get the four from this poster? Well, I think it would make sense to me, you know, if you compare from the previous prequel movie series we got, you know, with Attack of the Clones, which we got nine but of like original characters, you know, that they weren't like clones or something like that, or even the battle droids. We got like four to five. I think like that's a fair assessment, at least what we probably see for new character or, you know, a different look that we have not see, had them before. Hey, big dot pound. Uh, so I think for me, I'm going to say one is probably a lot of people want. I would probably say Obi-Wan, Padawan, because I'm already like I'm already getting the Obi Wan show, Obi Wan, mm -hmm. and I'm getting the general Obi Wan, mm -hmm. you know, which fits to uh, prequel ish, you know, before original trilogy version of him. That would be a perfect one to fill out kind of the collection. Um, for me, the other one, this is going to be a little off because I think the likelihood of this one is probably least than even the four, the getting all four on the poster is a destroyer droid, a droid cup. Oh yeah, so you're you're calling like a destroyer droid. I'd love I would, yeah. that. I would like to see. The, do I think it's this? Yeah, I think that's a little bit more unlikely than even. Than Didn't we see saying. that though? In uh, now, now you're making me think. Didn't we see destroyers in uh, the Mando three? Uh, Wasn't it? Or it was in one of the uh, maybe people in the chat know which which I Disney think, I think Plus in show Mando season three we did see in the in the droid bar. I know we saw the super battle droid, obviously. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. but a destroyer droid, droidka, however you are, droidka, I forget what the other exact actual term is that they're supposed to be, but like one of those I think would be cool because I'm fairly certain like we're going to get a B1, you know, the original, like just different colored, the B1 from uh, episode one, and maybe that with the staff, maybe a regular and a, you know, it with a staff because they've already. I think a year or two ago showed one of those, you know, like actually showed them at one of the cons or trade shows. Here's the one I don't want to come unless. <laughs> the, okay. No, Aries, come on. Listen, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go, before you go, I know you, you may not want him to come out, but what was, what was the most spoke talked about character in the Phantom Menace, if you could go back to 1999 there, Mr. Yeah, because uh, everybody hated him in 1999. <laughs> but, <laughs> right, so he was, are. okay, so it was infamous. But, yeah. but it was still the most polarizing, captivating, most popular character from that movie. You don't think we'll get, well, you say you don't want it. I let me, let me rephrase I don't it. I like him. But he do, you, do you think we will get it, though? hard isn't I think, it i think because he's an alien and stuff 
you know, that's always, you know, it's an alien that's not based off like a human look, like Hera, you know, with the Twi'leks or something, it's mostly human looking. I think there's a pot that, I mean, it's one of those things I don't want to see, but I think it would also, Eric, you kind of would look at if they took, it would be them kind of, you know, like they didn't put out, uh, what was the Jedi guy, Kid Fisto? You know, they showed him, but they never mm-hmm. put him out. If they were willing to take a chance and show some, you know, because to do him would take some innovation. You know, they'd have to do some innovation with the sculpt, the look, the style, the hand. Everything would be very different than they could just do for like, you know, 80% of their figures. So I think doing him would show them. And I think it would be a good, um, make a good impression for collectors that, hey, we're going to be doing a decent number are really investing in this anniversary. Unlike say we were left kind of putting our hands up, you know, mostly with say return of the Jedi. Well, and I think the other interesting thing is if you think about what you said, Lane, I agree about that using that test and, and what's been happening lately, you know, as we're looking at so many of these figures lane that are going on wait list well before, um, they come out, and, and we were wondering if things would change in 2024, and it's actually seems like it's getting even more tight, even even less production. So when you're talking about like all these off characters that they seemingly don't need to make that much production of, does that also, with your analysis, you know, a- add to it in the fact that, hey, you could put out a Jar Jar Binks. We don't have to make 10,000 of them. Not even 5,000. Shoot, you could put out like 2,500. Honestly, Lane, because so many Star Wars fans in this hobby, I think 2,500 Jar Jars just probably go. (laughs) If it wasn't Artisan, because they use that Q system, because they use that Q, but still using the Q system to do it Artisan, if they only had 2,500, he would go as fast as Scarlet Witch, I think. Okay, or you're thinking just if he was a special edition like that, where maybe yeah, yeah, like if he was a special edition, yeah, and they use yeah. the artisan lane where, where they have that height or, or have that yeah. extra little height yeah. to it, where it's not just here's a regular release kind of thing, where yeah. there's a little something extra to help push. Because I, I do think the one thing that I would say if they did him, you know, how like for Mace Windu, you know, his figure from Attack of the Clones, they added the extra like shit uh armor pieces you can attach to make it look like you know the clone wars like gendy tarkovsky Mm -hmm. version of him from clone wars if they include like the little hood thing where he pretended to be a jedi in clone wars for that one episode where he like covered over his head and everything like that in one of the old clone wars episodes if they included that with him i could see where i might go i hate regular jar jar but i love that episode where he's jedi jar jar or you know, that could be just the play to his dark Jar Jar. Well, and I yeah. think that our buddy Eric here, another Cantina yeah. insider. Uh, and listen, for everybody who's watching, you're watching the Aries Terrington show live. This is an opportunity for all of you to give me, which you do. I mean, on a lot of the videos that I put out, and you guys know I focus a lot on the pre recorded uh, videos, you guys put in the comments, and I try to answer each and every one of them. But here's your opportunity live to uh, put in some comments about some of these things we've been talking about. Yep. This show's kind of a review on those uh, those shows, the last two or uh, that last couple of weeks. Um, but he brings up a great point, our buddy Eric here at Cantina Insider, and I'm going to go to it, Lane. Um, what about the Jedi version? I think he's talking about Keller and Beck. I'll be honest with you. I, I uh, When we're putting out, like, I always talk about like like fifteen hundred. Like they did the Gal Gadot uh, wool rooted hair, uh, the artisan Gal Gadot Wonder Woman, the Wonder Warner Brothers five hundred, Warner Brothers one hundred. They do the Elizabeth Olsen uh, a Scarlet Witch twenty five hundred, Anakin, uh, you know three thousand, uh, the the rooted hair Joker four thousand. But we can't forget Lane with Iron Man and somebody's otherwise like Batman three hundred, sometimes just three hundred pieces. Shoot. You could definitely do a Keller and Beck. And a lot of these, real interestingly, when they're coming out with low production, are brand new head sculpts too, which is real interesting. They're just focusing yeah. on lower production. I I would I would love this Keller and Beck, to be honest with you. Um yeah. I, can no, you can you see this? Let me let me ask this because I mentioned it in my show. Yeah, yeah. This would be different 
It would be something I don't think I don't think Hot Toys ever did. But I could see this in a two pack where you're honoring Ahmed Best and you're mm. saying, hey, here's Keller and Beck and here's Jar Jar Binks for honoring Ahmed Best because they do weird things like they gave you the dark suit Superman of the Nightmare Batman, but you couldn't buy the dark suit Superman by itself. It's like, oh, well, the Nightmare Batman already came out. Why can't you just give me a dark suit Superman or reissue? So <laughs> they do weird stuff. Could they do something like this? It's not so weird. Lame because it's Ahmed Best. Yeah. I th- personally, I would like them to be separate releases. Me too. I, I, I'm I, kind of a... I, now, I think what Eric was talking about was Jedi probably was what I was referencing where Jar Jar pretended to be a Jedi for an episode. Oh, of the yeah, yeah. Ray. But, however, I, I since they put out so few figures for season three of Mando, I think they did lose an opportunity where they could have done one of him to have a Jedi character out, you know, from the Mando season three line. But I think, I think the, I think there's still a chance for the Jar Jar, but I think the opportunity for um, the other, yeah, <laughs> exactly the dog found, woo, uh, was for the other guy for the Jedi uh, back. I think that, ship is sailed at this point maybe also because mando season three wasn't quite as popular as the first two seasons um but that would but you know what's interesting let's 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 pause there does that even really matter anymore because i bring it up so and i hear what you're saying because like like there's such a low production like i want to bring up an example lane like let's talk about this this is interesting and thank you big dog pound the flash was yeah. one of the biggest box office disasters. <laughs> yeah. And and the same thing. Uh, so let's just stay with the Flash for now. Mm-hmm. They're just pumped out figures. And I and I and I I have a sense, and maybe it's from a different reality that I keep going in and out of these different realities and seeing things into the future, or perhaps from the past as an ancient action figure theorist. However, these, I I don't think that they finished coming out with all the figures that they're going to come out with from the Flash movie from last year. Because they just, I don't think so. We not only got one Flash, a regular and deluxe, they decided later in the year to give us that alternate flash the younger flash with the longer hair and not just one version to get it out of the way two versions regular and deluxe they 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 gave us the aflac batman not only by himself but on uh you know then three versions uh, with the bike or and then you could get the uh the bike by itself of course you got super i know girl, i got the sasha I got the bike itself on uh, the bike by itself i have on pre and for that. and and I want I want to talk about this because I they came out with 100 plus announcements last year. I don't think they could have fit all this in. You're starting to see some stuff now. Like everyone was like, "Hey, we're not going to get Balin. We're not going to get Shin. We're not going to uh, like they just couldn't fit it last year." Look, they gave us Han Solo too. Like, why did they put it out last year? It was their anniversary because they had no more capacity. So I'm, I'm, I don't even think we're done with, with, with the Flash. So when we talk about this is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm not I'm not convinced. So everyone could say what you want about The Mandalorian 3 not being as good as 1 and 2. And a lot of people do feel that way. It's still, it still was the best ratings-wise. And with nothing coming out this year, I, yeah. I don't know, dude. I think they could put them out. Yeah. Well, I think uh, – what was it I was missing here? They did uh, – single songwriter mentioned Toy Fair Jar Jar. You know, he points out, like, the armor. Do a yeah. Toy Fair release. Like, would Jar, Jar Jar would be, you know, when they're getting to that, like, episode one tying it in a little bit with maybe some regular releases in the yeah. special edition. Jar Jar – would probably be a perfect toy fair exclusive to do, you know, that, that he would be perfect for that because he's a well-known character, but he's not, everybody's going to want him. Um, 
since he also did not link to the rise of the empire. Uh, and I can answer this question here. It says, like Jar Jar from Bantha Rider or not, how can you have a complete The Phantom Menace line without him? All right, Lena, let you answer that first. Easy. I get the characters that I like, and then the line is done to me. That's mm-hmm. how most. That's how a lot of collectors work. But I do, know. I do do that with with some things. You know, some things I've got no. There's no, no like like with the Matrix. They just give you one character, and then you got to go third party. And that and that makes it a, that's a pain in the neck. That's that uh, is a pain in the neck. Like like yeah, I can't stand when they do that. I think Jar Jar like. If they're like if they're ever gonna do him, it's gonna be now. If they don't do him during the during the, however long it takes to get all the Phantom Menace figures released for pre order, if they do not do him during this, they're never gonna do him. Like this is the time they're gonna do him. They will. It's like you know we got two three PO's. We were finally we're in the time where they had a mold and could do three PO, and then boom, we had two in like what a year. Yeah, I, I, I think it's absolutely crazy. Um, single Strong Rider says, ancient alien Jedi, Jedi line. You know, y- you have to wonder. Um, woo, come on, Joe P's in the house. Joe, what's going on? Good to have you in here. And if I didn't say hi to you all, just go ahead and keep uh, keep posting in there. We'll, we'll get to you. O3 Mills is in the house. He hey. says, my guy, Aries, come on. Mara Single. Jade, dark side line. Unfortunately, Lucas hates that character. And that's why yeah. he, he never wanted Luke oh, to get married or Mara anything like Jade. that. And, 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 and most old school Jedi fans, Star Wars fans kind of go, if they're wondering sometimes what might have caused some people to get upset at Lucas in the fandom, mm-hmm. is when he made statements like that because a lot of people really liked her character. Well, listen, everybody, make sure you smash that like button. Like you've button. got the Dark Jedi Aries in the house, and you've got the Midnight Collector Lane right in the house. I yeah. am an ancient action figure theorist. Lane, are you an ancient action figure theorist? I I have no idea. I barely can keep up with the figure, annou- <laughs> figure theory <laughs> announced from last week because there are so many of them from so many companies. You know, this is like, once a scale is like, is like statues used to be like 10 years ago where there was like their sideshow and they're the one game in town. And now there's like 20 different, co- there's like 20 different companies all trying to get your money. Now one Cisco, there's like eight different companies doing completely different things, trying to say, Hey, you can buy this. Hey, you can get this. Hey, now you can get entire power ranger teams that you can then can say it's morphin time. Dude. And, and now you and can get by yeah, well, you warp out. And, all your money at the screen. And now you can get 25 figures from the Ahsoka line from Hot Toys. So I want to go that that show's yeah. long over. And <clears throat> and I know a lot, like, like I said, it's I love the show. I think it's phenomenal. I'm telling you from the outside in, you know, public wise, it was it was well received, but it's right in their most, you know, community wise. I always tell people, Lane, this is a very small sampling. The people that are on my show on other people's content creator shows, even if a show gets like 200 people, that's such like, that's like one grain of sand on the whole beach. Yeah. You, you know, you, you know, you know what I'm saying? So the point, the point of it is that um, look how much we're getting from her and from that show, which is absolutely epic. Could we be getting more? From other things, and of course, I was mentioning the Mandalorian because we were talking about Jar Jar Binks and Ah my Ahmed best. But I want to move away from that, and I want to go to something that has relevancy from last year, like Ahsoka. And when you talk about not being able to complete a line from a movie that actually was a nice success from Marvel and close to a you, billion you dollars Mar- you know what i'm gonna put up okay. here i was gonna say if you said the marvels aries i'm gonna be like time to no i'm that. saying <laughs> guardians baby <laughs> yeah i'm saying the guardian so you know let's talk about drax and when you look at all the other ones on here i mean of course star lord um nebula um i mean rocket groot Drax, Drax dude goes for like six, seven hundred dollars. 
in the secondary market. Yeah. Are we going to see this just like we didn't see um, Balin and Shin and some of that other stuff? And I say, yes. I actually think they're going to complete what they already showed us here. Certainly, I think it'll be a very limited run with Mantis. And I think it'll be a limited run with Drax. I actually think all of these, tell me if I'm wrong in the chat. Lane, maybe you know. I think every one of these are already waitlisted. I think Groot is. I think Star Lord is. Yeah, I think they I think Nebby, I think they're all waitlisted. I even think uh, uh, Rocket's I, waitlisted, right? Rocket, yeah, with the the dog. I think yeah. Name. But um, I, I don't in, in in a year where you're not getting another uh, a Guardians uh, movie. You know, you're not getting a Flash movie. You're not getting Batman on the screen. You're not getting Iron Man on the screen. You're not getting Spider Man on the screen. You're not getting Doctor Strange. You're not getting hardly. You know, you're you're you're, you're going to get some good stuff, Deadpool and Wolverine, which I can't wait. It, de it depends. Yeah, but you're not going to get enough for all the infestation that you had last year of figures. I th I say they complete this line, Lane. I'll let you go, and then we'll go to the chat. Yeah. Uh, all I can say to that is. This, this is one I will give you a little pushback. I don't think we're going to get... I think we've got everything that we're going to get for Guardians at this point. Um, the thing is, you, I think you're just... I think you're dismissing a little bit how many figures that we could get from Wolver from Deadpool and Wolverine. No, you're going to get a ton. I, th if the, I, I think they're going to get... How many versions of Wolverine are you going to get? Oh, well, how many? it depends how many different outfits he A has in the movie. How well, you had two outfits. of Flash. Well, you know he'll have probably a couple outfits. Oh, uh, right? Wolverine's going to probably have two or three. Deadpool, yeah. depending on if he has different suits, probably at least a couple. Um, and then what figure sells better, Wolverine? Cameos. What what figures sell better, Wolverines or Deadpool's? Oh, definitely Wolverine. Everybody's really? going to buy the jack the yellow suit, Jackman, Wolverine. Everybody's going to buy that figure. That's the one everybody wants. Is the yellow but, suit Jackman Wolverine going to go to number one? Yes or no? <laughs> oh God, yeah. That the the Mon, the Hano Wolverine will be long forgotten. Oh, even though it's going to well, be that, the like Hano Ryan, though is is like good for collectors on the budget. That's or the whole that's the comic. whole purpose of that, right? Yeah, or one comic like since that's going to be all comic stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I just thinking, you know, there's rumors apparently that like Nick Cage is going to appear as Ghost Rider, and they've already done a Ghost Rider flaming head before, so there could be a Nick Cage Ghost Rider. <laughs> Taylor Swift could be freaking Dazzler. So if she says, I mean, as we just proven since we got that Mall Super Commando that had 0 0.05 seconds of screen time, we could see Taylor if they get the Taylor Swift that we could get teenage Nick well, Sonic Warhead. Since well, we're doing like the the Padawan, well, uh, Ahsoka. Yeah, you. I think you're going to get obviously, and and also you got to take into effect effect lane that they just don't the have glasses. enough content this year. Yeah, but finishing up this content, gosh, people would go nuts on a Drax. Um, I think they'd go yeah. nuts with Mantis in this outfit. To be honest with you, too. So I think that you know, and if if you're collecting this whole line. And honestly, I think you go a step further. I'm putting this up. I know some people don't like the comic translation, uh, but I, I and I respect that. I, I don't think it, that that stops Hot Toys, though. I don't think they get into like, oh, you know, the way they put Warlock in here. You know, they don't look at it from a comic standpoint. They look at it from a Disney and from a movie standpoint. I, I actually think that they could put out. Here's what I think that they could put out from this. Which one? I think they could put out Drax and Mantis. And, and the biggest reason, Lane, I, I hear your argument. Like, why would they hear? I, I really, th I don't think Hot Toys since the last couple of years is ever going to tease again and not put it out because they want to, they they want to, they want to hold up that um, image, especially against some competition. Do I got to mention in art? Yeah. Um, <laughs> some of these others. I think they're going to put that out because of that. However, I don't see how you can get this and not have a Gamora. If anyone didn't watch the movie, I apologize. But Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was very heavy with Gamora. But I think with the Gamora um, 03 Mills, I, I not only think that she is a, um, a good uh, character for this, but let, let's go with some trends for this movie because of how important she was and to the story, she was important lane to the storyline arc, 
yeah. Gamora to this, but 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 here, Lynn, what I what I want to point out is what did what did Hot Toys recently come out with from Marvel? They came out with Elizabeth Olsen, Scarlet Witch, in regular sculpted hair and what lane? And rooted, rooted, yeah, hair. rooted no. hair. I think she's a candidate. I'm going to pull this up onto the screen. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you this is from yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy it. Three. Mm -hmm. It would look just. Can you just imagine that rooted hair would look freaking phenomenal? See, I would push back. I, I, I for maybe her coming, but not artisan, because I think the if the next Marvel artisan will probably be Black Widow. I think she's much more uh, candidate to have one done. Were you surprised? Whatever that's a good. Done. That's a good comment. Were you surprised that Scarlet Witch was before Black Widow? Mm, yeah, she was. I mean. I don't know how many of us were calling for another Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch <laughs> since we already had. Well, she's pop, the I, I, they had small. the series. Yeah I, yeah, I don't know how many were calling either. There's so many, but I love it. I'm getting it. I'm getting that. Like Are if it, getting the artisan. Oh, if they give me an artisan, uh, Black Widow. No, no, sorry. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought you. Sorry. I thought you were. Meaning, I was meaning. Were you getting the Scarlet Witch? Scarlet Witch oh heck yeah. Heck yeah, I, I have to. It's mm -hmm. the one of the best looking figures I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely getting her, but I would definitely get this. I mean, this would be like sick, dude. If if they came out with it, yeah, <laughs> it, it would be. But how many of these? If they did this, let, let's just humor me, Lay. Let's say that they did do it. Mm -hmm. The 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 wool the rooted hair artisan version. How many copies? If you if if you found out they were going to do this, thousand. Okay, so you're thinking it would be like super low. Yeah, because I, I don't think the Gamora sold great. That's why it took like three years for the Guardians 2 one to come out. Um, I think that it would be good. But uh, the thing is, they're not, she didn't, her look wasn't super different than her Guardians 2 one, whereas like the other Guardians, all, you know, had kind of the standard uniform that pretty much all of them wore and everything. Um, I, now if you put me to like a figures coming out, would be more likely to get a Gamora versus say a Drax or something? Cause they've had multiple opportunities to do Drax. And I don't know if it's Batista has a necessarily. I, I think we got a better shot right now getting Beast Rabat. Than... I don't think there was demand for him though. Like I, I know, I, I don't think they made that many, and I think that's why it was like high in the secondary market. But Lane, let me ask you this. Is it possible? that there wasn't much demand for the character, but maybe now after Guardians 3, there's a little bit more demand, especially now when you tie that where he's the people want to complete now. the line. Yeah. Yeah. So like, could they do a thousand Draxes, Lane? Yeah. It's, it's gone. Yeah. It's gone in 10 minutes. <laughs> I mean, so yeah. that's the thing. And I think for me, what's hard, I got to remind, remind myself, when you're talking about like, how many of those best car Mandalorians did they make hot toys? Like, just forty thousand in in you know the U.S. and and Europe and or maybe more. I mean, and not who, there. Who knows how not many? Even there. Yeah, and now even like <laughs> how many of the Chrome did they make? Because they still can't get rid of those, and we thought those were too many, dude. Less. It, um, it, what do you know, think of this? What do you think of this? Those would be cool though. Um, no, not that one. I thought he had a different comment. Where's the Where's the one that he had? Oh yeah, no, that one. Thor. Thor, Thor would be yeah. crazy. What do you think of this? Uh, it depends. Which, which here's the chat, are you guys? Which era Thor would you think do you want? Because I'd probably say, I see, I don't know if it would translate because he wouldn't have super long hair, it was shorter hair. Like, I would probably say Infinity War Thor and stuff like that would probably be the one because that was my favorite. Where you know, Infinity War Thor was kind of my favorite look for him. What about uh, 2012? Hmm. Isn't that the anniversary this year? Or help me. Was it or no? What's the Marvel anniversary this year? Uh someone had it in the chat here. I'm trying to pull last it year. Last year was Iron Man because it was 15 years. Mm -hmm. but no, there's a there's a Marvel world. one this year. Um, for something. But I think it could be like from. I'm trying <laughs> to pull it up. 
<laughs> Sorry, DS, Senior Go Songwriter ahead. has has what the ultimate DX item extra should be to make it what? DX for Thor. It, uh, yes, this one here, a trolley thing. Here, here we go. There we go. Uh, the two, Thor 2012 more likely for Artisan yeah. than yeah, yeah. No, I agree. That that's what I'm trying to say. Yes. Um, no, so I totally the ultimate DX version though, a little bit farther down. Let's see here. Let's see here. First seven ten. <laughs> With the coffee cup. Yeah, another... Sorry, I saw that. It was like, yep, sounds about right. Well, um, you know, should I, should I play it, Link? Can I, can I find it? Like, where I'd is that clip? I, I don't know, man. You, you got it up on the board. It's my, I just see a lot of flashing. Oh, here it is. This is the one that Lane wants me to play. For Phil. All right, just let's let let's let's just you know say goodbye. Screw Marvel. Let's just we need we need a DX artist and <laughs> smoke that can be split in half instead. Uh, you know, here here here's here's something I I actually got news. So this is oh. actually out lane. This figure is out from the Guardians of the Galaxy three. Before we move on to to the next thing, it's actually out in. Earth three, an alternate reality that oh, yeah. the thirteen skull bounces out. It's actually out right now, and it's already on the wait list. It okay. is a second one of this figure right here. Oh, Yandu, he's still he's dude. He's, this was this was also in the film. Remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he was in the like weird whatever hallucination or whatever. <laughs> He was, yeah. And hey, a Yandu would be great. Like this, would would you probably? Because I know, like, you really like the Sparrow and stuff. I would probably say of the actor likeness. Now, admittedly, this one came out a long time, even for when it came out after the Sparrow. But I would still say that this mm -hmm. one, you could put that Yandu Michael Roker face sculpt against even say like the Ahsoka line figures, you know, which is 2023, 2024. And it looks just as good. Like, I mean, it doesn't have the rolling eyes or anything, but that if they were, it, we've been talking sometimes about, you know, like a toy fair or summer showcase this year or whatever, a Yandu, a new Yandu with like, uh, would you say, like, even if the Yandu was almost exactly the same as that, but they just added maybe the rolling eyes and a different accessory? Yeah, because he goes so everybody high. Everybody would man. buy it. Everybody yeah. would buy it. Like, that's just do that. That's an improvement. That's all you need. You don't even need to do a new head sculpt. Well, dude, maybe this this is, up. yeah, this looks, this cool. looks pretty good. They already got the prototype done. I mean, so how hard is this lane for them to just be like, and, and lane, what about like, like single songwriter was saying about a, uh, you know, a Comic Con exclusive or an exclusive oh. here. Would this fit the bill for an exclusive? I think it would. Yeah, no, I think something like that. Yeah, I mean, there's so many different figures for different properties where it's just like they had this one too. Yeah, just just well, I think that one portion that one has the head sculpt from the holiday special. It looks exactly the same. Yeah. Which is it not looks, bad. It's a good head sculpt of it. No, it is. It is. And that may be what we get. But the Drax one is different, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. D this one's better that, than the that original Drax one. Is, that Drax is really old. That's like really old at this point. Yeah, too. I think people would go, and I bet you this would be rolling eyeballs function. Yeah, well, I think he's in that pretty much everything now. Because Well, wait a minute. Maybe not because it's it's he doesn't have hair. Uh, well, well no, that, I don't know. Well, they may be able to do that though now, right? Mag with magnetics or who yeah. knows. I, I I think that it's just there's way they the ways they can move and hide and do the stuff for the magnet because that that's the like one thing with uh, the uh, what do you call it the mace window that kind of made it holds it back a little bit is because it doesn't have the rolling eyes function like even like Padme and stuff happens with her. Now, hey Aries, real quick. Before we keep going here, I have one thing that I do need to do real quickly. Well, as you do that, I'm going to go ahead and shout out to MB Dyson saying, The Dark Jedi Live 
It's been too long. And ancient action figure theorists say, yes. Thank you so much, MB Dyson. This is so much fun. I'm having a blast. Can't wait to get to the next segment here now. Um, come Give on. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute here. The Mr. Lane Kramer no, gifted one six scale Cantina membership. I'm going to start banging my head here. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, wait a minute. Let me guess. Let me guess who won. Who won? And you have to wonder Wonder. is this what they. The wizard. And I don't know yet. I'm actually, but I'm just looking at at, at no, Lane, it, 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 right? I really appreciate it gifting somebody in here a membership to Six Scale Cantina. Before we go on to the next, who is our lucky winner? Who is the winner? What, what single is the, songwriter? Who the single songwriter is the winner. I think he's won like three times. More than that, four or five times. Wayne, listen, you may you may have to do this ten you times tonight. As I told you, I have a core of the God Butcher that's going to be coming. Uh, the Wizard. We just, we just congratulations the to the single songwriter, songwriter in the house here, that. and. uh Congratulations to you, and Lane. Thank you so much for for giving uh, people an opportunity. <laughs> Congratulations, songwriter. To uh, to do that, uh, very very cool, very very nice gesture there, Mister Lane. You'd have to do that, and thank you so much. Um, and and we got Thrawn's office, and congratulations, songwriter, and thank you to Lane again. Thrawn's office in the house, saying driving at the moment, and very happy to be listening to the Wizard, and my main man Lane. Come on, come on. Good to have you in here. Thrawn's office for sure. Listen, we've got a uh, 47 in here now. Smash the like button for the Dark Jedi. Lane, uh, I think we need to move on. We went from, we went, we talked some Marvel. I think maybe we'll talk a little Star Wars as I bring this up a little bit, a little bit. We'll we'll go back to Star Wars and then we got to get only- some DC. This is interesting to me, and you know that I've been pounding it um, the last couple That's of months. Oh, then I need it. Thanks, Harris. <laughs> Lane, come on, dude. Uh, we are family, Freddy. I swear it. Did I make you hungry? <laughs> You're delicious, bro. Ciao, boys. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to go live, baby, just so I can play Pizza in the Damn Hut. Come on. I I just wish I had as much color in my face as Vinny does. (laughs) Dude, I'd buy a Vinny in a in a freaking heartbreak in in a heartbeat. Um, Star Wars Dark Side. Here's what they did here with this. This is my opinion. Okay. Mm -hmm. They give themselves flexibility and um to they give themselves flexibility to be versatile with anything canon or anything Star Wars related to Dark Side. So when you talk about characters like Darth Nihilus or Darth Revan from even the first Knights of the Old uh, you know, Republic game, okay? And then you've got the Knights of the Old uh, Republic too, where you also get him again and you also have Darth Nihilus. You also get two dark side characters because dark side ray and dark side anakin are already dubbed with that word dark side in them in the mm-hmm. disney universe of course you got your regulars darth vader you've got darth maul you've got the uh the emperor you've got darth tyrannus you know uh count dooku um uh and then lane you can expand this to dark side um you know uh, minions general grievous um which i don't think they will do with this one because i think they're going to come out with it real quickly for the uh the 25th yeah i do i really do for the 20th of uh what the heck is it the revenge of the sith Sith. dude there's so much they could do here they could go and they could do clone wars vader with this or they could do uh 
for dark side as well they could do ventress uh, oh for sure us, uh, or mother talson savage opris or, if you're gonna go if you're gonna yeah. go clone wars you can or go vader knights night sister just like a you know just generic night sister they could do marin from originally because she's you know a night sister from the we people have been wanting Cal Sestis, you know, you could expand it to the Jedi Sir, Jedi series, Survivor, Fallen Order. You could do Marin. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you could, uh, geez. I mean, maybe, maybe, oh, you know what, Aries? Related mm-hmm. to what you've been talking about. Mm-hmm. And if you've ever been watching some of the, some of the other recent videos, because I think this last, last one you put out, you mentioned how they could put out, because how they could put them still out, because it could fall under this banner. Fourth sister and fifth brother, because they're dark side. You know, so you know, when maybe Kenobi is done, they could put them out as part of this. You know, I like that, and I I talked about that on on. Let, let me let me bring that up because I think that that's when you're tr- when you're talking about trying to find a way to to justify or or anything of that nature. Let's let's actually talk about this, especially if they want to just pump out some figures because there's not a whole lot of. I agree with you. The the Deadpool Wolverine movie, if we can if they can get 30 figures from there, they're gonna do it. But you know, we're talking about a few things, not as much as last year. So a few Star, now, a few Star Wars like in the summer, filling out like in the summer yeah. or something. Well, dude, let me put them out. This th- that would work with the dark. Would they would they do it dark side line and then just say it's from the Obi-Wan series? What do you think? I think they would do a dark side because I think Obi Wan is like that's done done. Um, but would they, they mention as seen in the Obi Wan series? Yeah, 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 yeah. From the so they would show. do that. Yeah, but the, they would be really cool. They could help fill out the line. They secondary market might help people who want to end up eventually selling Riva. Uh, you know what else could help for if people are trying to fill out all like known inquisitors that have been in live media. Marok from. Ahsoka could help not sell a ton of him, but he is an inquisitor. He would make so you could ha- have an even group there of like five, you know, a handful basically. You know, might help sell sell some of him too, as well. I think I am not the big fifth brother. I, I did not like the translation of the fifth brother in the series. I thought he did not look good very much. I didn't like how he turned out, but I basically he was the same complaint some people had like about the Grand Inquisitor just being translated into real life. I love the fourth sister. I think she actually is my favorite for like look from all the inquisitors. Um, I wish they had come out with both of them because it's obvious they put, you know, a good amount of work into the head sculpts and into having to develop each of the costumes. Well, uh, that's a backtrack. I agree. Lane Clinton says black Adam has, hers and he's yeah, he's bald. Bald. yeah he does. yeah no they're starting to do it now so i wish they would have done it quite frankly and, Clinton. and these guys would be easy with to boba fett because you just yeah removable hat and the back piece and everything you can lock in there they they <clears throat> i think because because as we know hot toys does like to cut corner sometimes when they're releasing stuff these the, these two for dark side if they are just trying to be cute would be how i put hot toys likes to be sometimes these guys would be perfect candidates because they can just do limited numbers of them to help fill out the line. You How know, about these guys? The oh, dude, I I would buy Darth Nihilus and, and Darth Revan in a second. That's Jedi Revan. I didn't mean to, oh, to, yeah, Jedi to fool Revan. you, yeah. but you, you get the point of what I'm saying. It's uh, um, no, I, 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 I mean, the, like this is the, money, dude. These, these guys, these guys are day, <laughs> these guys are day one. Like, there's no fooling around. I like. Whether I'm going to sideshow, whether I'm going to off the racks, whether I'm going to Sugo Toys, or I'm ha- going to knock on Howie's door so that I can order direct from him. Like, oh man, guys are I day mean, one. I mean, dude, to be to be honest with you, and and everyone in the chat, let me know. I mean, if you could get, uh, and maybe they would give you a Jedi Revan. For I just worried they would be, they would be like you know like you know Wonder Woman or something because they are from older games. They'd be like a thousand figures or three hundred for the U.S., and then it's if you don't have luck in the in the queue, then you're gonna have to you know they cost like three hundred bucks to buy, 
and then you're going to have to spend six hundred dollars to get them. That would be my only concern with that, dude. How, like how about a Revan? Really short. How, how about a Revan two pack? Darth Revan and Jedi Revan. <laughs> oh that man, would, that would be cool. And, oh, and, I mean, and, freaking. And, and because even though in the expanded universe lore, like for Revan, they established that he was a guy. You know, not the like, you know, but in the if they're doing it off the game where there was, you know, you could make, you know, you chose the gender and all that stuff of the character um, that they, they don't need to do a head sculpt. I, I have to say probably of the two, I'm much more interested in Nihilus because I think doing his mask and everything would be really cool. Oh, um, yeah. But like but, but, the, the, a Knights of the Old Republic line. Dude, I think he's oh, on a yeah. roll tonight, Lane. So they may call him. This. They call him. The wizard. You, we're talking about Wookies like Chewbacca. Give me a Zalbar. Give me a Mission Veo. We already now know that they can do Tulik heads now and everything thanks to Hera. Just spray painting. Dude, yeah. this would be like do the, this is like the, whatever the rest of the droids name it. Of course, the one we all want, HK forty seven. Like, give us that. <laughs> give us our favorite assassin <laughs> droid, HTK. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just do these guys in HK forty seven, and we'll be like talking to ourselves like HK forty seven, going master. Dude, these are like, I mean, this, this looking at this here, just like this. I mean, when you talk about a dark side line, it opens up the door, and I agree with with uh, with with songwriter on this. They could do a Kotor uh, line for sure. Um, but this seems like the easy way they could do them if they're not willing to make that. Uh, now, if at some point that you know there were someday over the rainbow that Coter remake may send come out, you know, someday over the rainbow, if that mm -hmm. comes out, I don't know about all the human characters like Karth and Nassi or something like that, but if they if they could finally get that out at some point, I think that makes like a Darth Revan, even if they just did him from that makes it likely that he would come like he would come if they did that remake even if that was the one all right uh, well let, let's yeah. let's talk about what what super sells because revan's gonna sell revan's gonna okay. sell nihilus will sell um those grand inquisitors especially because other collectors already have the third sister um and the grand inquisitor and the vader don't discount mm -hmm. that battle damage vader let's talk about the obi-wan series now look my, my my opinion is here when you're talking about more and more announcements but less production of those announcements and we watched that theory unfold from the dark jedi from the crystal ball from the hot toys wizard in 2023 when you talk about this year not having as much film and television show content you do have to ask yourself, would they go back to the Obi-Wan series, which is making them, quite frankly, a lot of money, especially yeah, with, the, with, with, with the battle damage. How about a non-battle damage Vader, which is kind of weird to say because he's he's got the suit on because he is battle damaged. Anyway, you know what I mean. How about instead of a rolling eyeball function lane, rolling eyeballs, put this sucker out of throne, uh, Dude, this would sell. Let's talk about if it would sell. Yeah. Would you sell fifteen hundred like Gal Gadot, oh, yeah. or or won't sell like 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 that Wonder Woman? Come on, dude. Well, if, they gotta... just, if they just did a regular Vader with regular Vader sitting on like a throne, like he does on Mustafar in his castle, <laughs> like they, like Iron Studios put out that statue of quarter scale of him on the throne that sold out quite a while, you know, waitlisted quite a long time ago. A six scale figure, like say, I don't know, maybe like five hundred bucks, a Vader, mm -hmm. with maybe just like the, like you're showing here, which could just be like the upper, like kind of Sebastian Shaw was showing, but like you could remove it and attach, or you, maybe something like this where you can remove the upper part of Vader's helmet, and then like there's a way you could like pull out the front piece there and attach well, dude, that, the upper that, that, that of Anakin to it. Yeah, well, you bring up when you bring up Sebastian Shaw, you know how some collectors are, buddy. Is you know, 
how many like okay i've got sebastian shaw with the full head sculpt to show that great awesome moment in the end of the return of the jedi and then I actually have the actor uh hayden christensen he would be the only other figure lane that has a full um darth vader head sculpt under the mask besides uh, sebastian shaw would be this and i think that collectors you know collectors like to be able to complete certain things this kind of like completes it for me it's like oh look i've got hayden you know without the with the full head sculpt and now i've got sebastian shaw i would love this i really would and, and they could use for trying to get a full facial sculpt of hayden kind of like now it wouldn't be exact but maybe they could use as a basis to kind of do and then an age up a little bit to how he would have looked like in kenobi time frame but they could go back to stills and using how because you saw hayden you know with his head, full head uncovered and revenge of the sith now, obviously he was much younger when that was filmed but they could use that as you saw him with the you know burning and damage to himself they could use but you saw like his whole face you know under the front piece and everything so they could use that as the basis for trying to do that full kind of half or up entire upper chin part you know facial sculpt where you could attach it to there is like the basis for it well and or line we've still got a second season so there's still a good a chance we can get man, man if we don't do a, a new show at some point like, here's the thing it nothing you know we we could do it together if you want lane we say yes yes because I, I know, Lane, you we think need, we, need an Andor. we got to get at least an Andor by, by well, the season. You know, and, and here's the thing with that, um, to be quite honest. You, we're not completed. You, you don't have the Rogue One line completed yet, obviously. And there there's and, and obviously Cassie and Andor is is something that we would like <laughs> from the Andor line. I mean, uh I'd love a Saw Guerrero too. I'd love Forrest Whitaker from the first one. You got him, um, you know, from from just you know Rogue One as well. Um, honestly, they could tie it both in. If you want to talk about, hey, Dark Side line, and then the Inquisitors, the Obi wan series, whatever way you want to put it, Lane. If you want to use that logic, you can use this logic. Come out with Rogue One, Cassie and Andor. Or Cassie and Andor from the Andor series, as also seen in Rogue One. There's so many different ways that you could that 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 you could play this, quite frankly, um, to to get that out. But really, with low production and more announcements, why couldn't they come out with the Andor line? Why couldn't they come out with more figures from the Flash? Maybe. Well, you're it's more it's, limited. Flash. it's limited. Know, it's limited. It's limited anyway. The flash, you're more on the Flash than I am. I am shocked that but, they did. That was a that was a bomb. Yeah, dude. Well, Charlie Char Char Unicorn points out who we all actually need. The figure that is truly needed, even more than Jack. no. I know what you're going to tell me, but but I yeah. think you're you you've got it wrong, dude. B Bail or Ghana, baby. <sighs> we need some Jimmy Smiths in our day, man. Can you imagine being able to look into that, into your thing next to that Padme Aladala and see her, you know, wingman for the Senate? If you say Captain Marvel, then Ares, I, I'm, I'm I'm sorry. We need what we need is a Miss Marvel, a Mon Valani Miss Marvel. Should Dude, I'm telling you right now, the only reason they didn't come out with figures from from uh, the Marvels is because they ran out of time and capacity. And look at this, buddy. Captain Marvel. Is it possible that she has hit the Mick wait list? And I say, yes. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that uh this is shocking? This is almost as shocking if they came out with a Tauntaun. Captain Marvel has hit the wait list. Come on, Lane. I'm waiting for your like, I'm waiting for you to faint or something here. This is gone. Where'd Thank she God. go, Lane? Thank Did the thirteenth skull buy the rest of these and bring it to because the moon? They, they were like selling her for forty percent off. To <laughs> and finally, they were able to get rid of her. And this is only one version. I think the older one still might be in stock. 
<laughs> the older one still is in shock in stock. I would rather yeah, have I think they were trying to the older one, one, honestly. Yeah. Well, she's got 35 percent uh, off they had this on the other day. I mean, yeah. pretty well, much they've got they have a whole they had they already had a whole bunch like today, you know, for the daily deals. There's like four hot toys on there right now. Like Carnage is on there. I think the really expensive, you know, the really expensive Iron Man, the armor up Silver Centurion, that thing's like a hundred dollars off, but it's still too much at three ninety two. Which That's one is? Wow, the, Silver, the armor up Silver Centurion is like a hundred and three dollars off, but it's still three hundred ninety two bucks. I'm like well, that one. You're gonna have to be like. Rip- uh, remember, now. remember, I said that some of these would hit thirty-five to forty to even fifty percent off eventually. And don't we have like a? Uh, isn't there a birthday celebration or something coming on soon? What is that? Isn't this that this week, week on the eighteenth? So you have to wonder: so is it possible? To. Are we going to get a deal, Lane, with this cel- with this birthday celebration? Oh, for the other Captain Marvel. Well, didn't they have to try and do her as an attachment for like 50% off or something? I think that one not too long ago during one of their sale things or something. There was. I think it was what? Neon Tech Iron Man? Or no, I think the... Captain Marvel, the first one or something like that. Was, was it 50% kind of off? off? Or some kind of deal like that they were having, or maybe 40% off. And they still. How many did they make? I can't even believe that that's. Not... Well, I mean, that that's the thing, you know, like what for the wait listing and stuff, you know, one figure we have to wonder like how long could it be in stock just because it's so you know when it was announced was so long that dark knight catalog that was announced back in 2021 so is that one that could hang around for a while because it's just you know it's from <laughs> way before they started coming up you know cutting numbers Ooh, that would be interesting well i think songwriters uh again he's hitting it tonight i mean if you if you want to come out with if you want to wait for leia for the uh um 50th anniversary you can go ahead and do this cgi leia and droids from the rogue one i actually think that this leia songwriter and lane and everyone in the chat when you talk about an artisan yeah uh, leia is the one yeah for Star i mean Wars that i think god would, would, would say and padme that. obviously queen amidala but yeah they, they absolutely could that, though like Leia over that. I think much more people would want a Leia over an Amidala. So. What do you think about this, Lane? Uh, one Six Shooter says, still think a Miss Marvel will come out. And now that they have a teenage, what did he say here? Buck. Buck. Uh, I guess the, that uh, means that means a young a, young person. Padawan. Yeah. yeah, since Padawan yep. was so young. Buck. Yep, out, get it, get it. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Um, well, that's what I'm saying. That, that was the one character from the Marvels. So I would have said, I think they should... I know a lot, like, I know her Disney Plus series was, I think, maybe the lowest watched one of all time. Like, for any, or at least Marvel was the lowest watched one. But I think her character, even in the Marvels, was the one that probably had the most positive reception. And I think people like the actress. Like, she comes off as very likable. So she's, if they were going to make a figure from the Marvels, I said, she's the one that they should make. Because I think that's one it wouldn't sell gangbusters, but that's one I think some people would pick up for their Marvel collection. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, interesting for sure. Um, yeah, this uh, and, and this is funny over here. Um, <laughs> wait list. It's a miracle. <laughs> I was thinking of C three PO from Attack of the well, Clones. It's a I, I nightmare. Don't know. I don't know if you were going to talk about it today, but I know I know I mentioned to you a little bit earlier um, with stuff weightlessing kind of like just out of the like, um, you know, record from the Bad Batch who did make it to in stock, but he weightlisted this, I think, yesterday or Friday. Yeah, I'm going to be so, putting that up on a, on a uh, show. I could pull that up right now because I've already got it. uh well, queued up if you, you want to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was just going to mention because since with comparison to Captain Marvel, who was around for a while. So we may be starting to see a little bit where not everything is waitlisting before it comes out. I think we may be kind of, for some figures, we're going to maybe see them make it doing stock like Record did. 
since he was after when we kind of, you know, we had that run for a while where everything waitlisted before it came out. I actually now, don't think they sold a whole lot of them, which is why. Yeah. But which is we, really I, weird. And I can't figure out why. Because I was yeah. actually thinking this through. But even tech is still available for pre order, too. Um, I think we could be seeing where we might see some, not all, we could see some figures like secondary ones. Because, and I will, I'll I have a couple other examples I would mention for ones that have been up for a while. We have, haven't seen go away list kind of or secondary or tertiary figures. But I think e- Wrecker is an example. Even if we have some, you know, more modern pre orders make it to in stock. He lasted what a couple of weeks? I don't know. I only, I actually, change? I think they're going to get a couple of anomalies like that where they toy with it. But for the most part, I mean, I all respect the wrecker. He's he's such a secondary character compared to well, that that's like Vader and some of these. They're just yeah, I, I they're kind of I, I don't know. I, it's weird. It's it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I could see some like him. I mean, like more tertiary characters like this. Some of these we could say make it to in stock. But even if they do, how much? Do you, how, well, let me ask you this: how, so small. how much do you do you think it's if they don't hit their numbers, they're going to try and they leave? I mean, and I can't even imagine it with this because if you're collecting the bad batch, don't you want all five lane? So and, I would well, think that this was selling, right? Well, the thing that could have hurt his sales or pre-orders on him and tech might have been just because of how short run Crosshair was. Ah, I see where you're going with it. Because I I think for because whatever you think of the Bad Batch show itself is that most people are like Wrecker and tech are characters you're probably only going to buy if you've gotten the rest. Because you're trying to do the entire team, or maybe if you leave out Crosshair because you know he hasn't been part of the team most of the show, then you have to the I mean Hunter and the other guy you can get, you know they're on sale because they made too many of them. But I think maybe Crosshair like just total pre-orders why these guys now record didn't make it to in stock. We'll see if Tech does you know at some point here in the in the summer probably. Um, but I think even somebody like Wrecker, if they make it even into in stock, they're not, you know, we're not like we, it's not going to be like Miss Marvel. We're talking three years later. It takes them to go away. <laughs> list. Like, well, I mean, you may, well, if they, if they weeks. make, yeah, if they make Miss Marvel, if they make, honestly, with so many of these figures, they're making so little. So th- that's why I actually think, I don't think that anything is, unsafe for hot toys if they limit their numbers yeah so they could come out with all three of the captain marvel versions and i hope that they do from that film because i i know i i i like the movie lane i thought it was fun i really did enjoy i really enjoyed the flash too and i know that it bombed in the box office and going back to that but i really did enjoy it i enjoyed the cameos too because i got to see enjoyed the flash i'm glad one of us did you yeah you did oh, enjoy. i did not like the flash i flash. love seeing the the cameo of christopher reeve right yeah yeah um uh a little I, ghoulish ghoulish <laughs> you know, same thing with adam west batman well you had george yeah you had the adam west batman and there you also had george reeve mm-hmm. um in yeah, there and you already saw matter. that i well, and, and you saw that I already put this uh, coming up. Fire, Batman. So you know, I've been I've been hitting this a lot too, right, buddy? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So let's talk obvious. There have been with Iron Man, Batman, Spider Man. There's been some 2.0s coming out in recent years, hasn't there, my friend? Oh yeah. Like the past year, and I like I mean, it's just crazy. So. When you when you look at 85 years of Batman, what can we be thinking about that George they can come out with? That's the one everybody wants. George Clooney Batman, number one. No, of course I don't actually mean that. You know, we we I think we know the one everybody really, really, really would want. I th- I think they want all of them. Mm-hmm. Don't you think? Which is the one that you think everyone wants? You're gonna tell me, Adam? What? Go ahead. Uh, Jack Nicholson Joker. That's the one everybody wants. 
what we already got. So are we ready for 2.0s of those? Well, he came out of four score many years ago. I think I think Nicholson Joker would be the one. Now, you know, it does raise the idea that if they did, I think if they did a 66 line for, uh, as songwriters pointing out, like a 66 line for the Adam West Batman would be cool. I think the likelihood of that is very remote. But I think Nicholson Joker, um, maybe because this couple of third party ones came out looking okay. Mm-hmm. Like Mr. Freeze, Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm-hmm. Mr. Freeze, maybe like in the big suit. Mm-hmm. Um, for Batman, who who would I who I would personally like to see from this? Like just for as just in general figure, I would like to see. I want. I would. I would like uh, Liam Neeson, uh, Ra's al Ghul, like from Dark Knight trilogy. That'd be the one who I want. Boy, boy geez, well, let's bad. go. Let's I'm let's let's go with two I'm point really for a minute. At this. So, is this ready for a two point oh MMS two ninety four? Oh, yeah. oh, and yeah. and I have it on the banner here, and I talked about it on on one of my shows. So this is from. This is from Batman Returns, right? This is not the 89. This is the uh uh the second one, right? So this is the this is the second one, yeah, I believe. Batman Returns. So would they 2.0 it with the whole like two pack where you get Bruce Lane, you get an up uh updated head sculpt lane, and then you get the Batman uh figure. Um honestly, this is the kind of stuff where I think it's possible that we could be seeing. A lot of this this year only because of a lack. Because remember, there was the writer's strike. We had a lot of stuff coming out. And we had a lot of TV shows and films last year. And even new IPs, uh, some new uh, licenses that Hot Toys dived into. But, you know, we're starting to see the impact of the writer's strike lane. And, you know, what figures do you come out with? And so far, a lot this year, you're seeing Spider-Man 2. You know, you're seeing Batman versus Superman. You're seeing Return of the Jedi, even after Return of the Jedi anniversary is over. You're seeing Ahsoka series, even though that series and last year is over. And you're seeing a lot of this stuff. So when you talk about a 2.0 for 85 years of Batman, and for a lot of collectors, I really feel that for a lot of them not all of them but michael keaton is a favorite and for a lot of them you know their their favorite batman especially those from that era you know from where the started with 89 with him and batman returns so i i think this head sculpt's pretty good what do you think of the this head sculpt from this mms 294 lane and do you think how much do you think when you when you look at michael keaton the one that they got him to sign off on for the flash yeah. Is it the same scenario as Harrison Ford? It's like, wait, we got Indiana Jones, and then all of a sudden we're seeing Han Solo, a younger version of Harrison Ford. Do you think when they got Michael Keaton to sign off on the Flash one for Hot Toys that they were like, hey, can we 2.0 this too? What do you think? I wish or, they would just go back and real quick and mention, hey, we're having a delay Batman 89 figure, and we have to add a Mike Keaton head sculpt to it. <laughs> that's what I wish was happening. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> me too. Me too. Yeah, you know, we're we're we'll we'll we can if you're willing to spend like 25 more bucks on it, then we'll, we can add the head skull for yours or send it to you like separately. It'd be like, sign me up, I'll take it. But obviously, this one they can do like where you ripped off the mat, like the ripped off the mat version or something and attach it maybe if it's a single finger. Um, I think that um I could maybe see because I do think the the head sculpt for that one does look because when did when did that one come out if anybody knows like specifically when did the Batman Returns one actually come out because I mean that's an old head sculpt it it show to me that Keaton one shows its age um, oh gosh so this one was like, like it was old yeah 2015 yeah I I I would like to see like because I I like the Batman Returns suit better of the two of them. Uh, I don't know if they would, I don't know about necessarily a two pack, but if they did, you know, if they did the Batman where it had the, like 
you know, kind of like how they have the removability of the Black Adam, where you can remove the head sculpt completely from the neck or the flash has it, where you can remove that part and then have an alternative head sculpt where it's like the, it's got a ripped cowl like he had at the end of the movie where you can see the full head sculpt and everything and kind of like in the back neck area. They have some, because we all, you know, some battle damage or where he ripped it off from the end of the movie where you got to see his full head sculpt. You can take that and attach it to the bat suit body and everything, just like the Flash figure. I think that would be great. Like, that's what I would want. Yeah, and obviously they, they can improve this, dude. Oh, yeah. I mean, and this would be like, this people would go, collectors would go insane. Yeah. Um, over this Batman, and I, and I don't think I, we would see it until after eighty nine comes out, though. I, I I don't know. You wouldn't think you'd see all the Scarlet Witches until. That's true. <laughs> you, you know what I mean, and I'm, and and it's not just her. It's not coming to my mind right now. I'm noticing this with the Iron Mans, with the even Loki's, which is not Iron Man. I mean, they're just pumping things out, and um. The same thing with that. And we it's should the have same... the 89 coming here in the not too distant future. No, but I agree with you. You 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 you'd like to see that with the 89 that's up there now that they would just give you a full kit and head sculpt, wouldn't you? Yeah, but I but for 92, if they I, I, I don't really care about the two pack. Honestly, the Bruce Wayne thing, I'm just kind of but if they did kind of like this, or they you know, where here you could remove like pop the cape off, remove the entire upper cowl with the you know, the fully cowled head sculpt, remove that like you can the Flash, the Ezra Miller Flash, or they have for the Black Adam. And then there's an entirely separate head sculpt with cowl that looks like this with it torn off that you can take and then attach to the bat suit and everything. I think that would be perfect. Like that would be the, that would be a great ultimate Batman. And uh, maybe finally do a Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman to go with it. Oh, baby. Well, uh, what what do you think about with this comment here? What um, Punisher yeah. is saying that there's a lot of flaws with what I'm showing to you. Oh agree? yeah, the, the the key yeah, like if you look at even I mean I know he's older, but like the modern suit Batman from the Flash movie looks way better, like a hundred times better than this, and more like my feet. Uh, I don't I, with the way the cheekbones and layout are and everything. I'm not seeing Michael Keaton super in this one in that head sculpt. It doesn't look yeah. ter terrible, but it's not great either. No, and and I feel I really feel with 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 this, you know, um, if we since they they came out with that one from the Flash, that head sculpt is absolutely phenomenal, Lane. Mm -hmm. When you look at that Michael Keaton likeness, obviously it's not going to work for this because why? It's it's you know too old um yeah. uh he's too he's he's absolutely too old for it but i think when i when i saw what they did with with uh harrison ford with the indiana jones and then i said you know what while they got this guy i bet you anything they went ahead and not only got a young indiana jones maybe a couple of versions maybe from temple of doom Maybe redoing the Raiders of the Lost Ark again, like they did with the DX. I think that's what the, I don't know, DX02 cool. or something, whatever. That's like a long super time. Or five, five. DX05, yeah. I think that is. Um, they probably did the same thing. And then Hans, obviously, they came out with a younger version of him for Return of the Jedi. And I think they got a couple more that they had him sign off on. Did they do the same thing, Lane, with Michael Keaton? Well, when they went ahead and, uh, um, I can't see why they couldn't do that. I mean, and for improvement and stuff, we know we've seen. Just remember, not too long ago, that the uh, Bat Flick 2.0 for that the BVS one and that head sculpt for how much they improved, how much that looked from an even a more recent figure. I think the key one they could probably. I I think they would do a banger like banger job if they redid the '92 suit with him. I just I think they would do a fantastic job with it. Maybe they can make it out of better material too. I'm not holding my breath, but I think they could do a better job with it. Like that looks like my like Michael Keaton. Like I I look at that in '92 and it's like night and day for like dude. If they if they if they redid this for the '92 one for Batman Returns, 
and obviously not going to be all, but I'm talking about like getting his likeness like that. Oh my God. That would just be insane. And yeah. you have to wonder, Lane, let me ask you, is it possible with 85 years of Batman and with all the 2.0s of everything, does that have dollar signs for Hot Toys and Slideshow yeah. written all over it? Doing 92 again with this? Oh, what yeah. do you think? Yeah, I, I mean, it's always hard to say what they think because we can't read Howie Chan's mind. But if you're going <laughs> over... Well, I mean, he just, they do weird things. We go, why did they choose that character? And then they did do this one. But um, I think that the 92 Batman, I like, I think Nicholson Joker is probably the one that I think I could really, really, like, I'm almost, like, where you say I'm very convinced that it could be coming, he's the one, like, for that, that I'm very convinced could be coming. The 92, the 92, see, I would almost say though, Aries, I feel if they just did like the 92 Keatman Batman Returns one, and I know they do this a lot, but to me that feels like it would be Hot Toys almost too much just playing it safe instead of doing something, taking a little bit of, I, I know they're in business to make money and this and that, but maybe trying to do, take a little bit of a chance. And, I, and I'm not saying... 89 Joker is Jack Nicholson Joker is like taking a chance on a figure necessarily, but they haven't done him in so long. I feel like just doing Keaton Batman, but like, um, where, uh, what was it? I saw earlier, uh, zero three miles said Danny DeVito penguin or doing a, even a fight for Catwoman or something. Try yeah. one of those characters for this 85 years of Batman to, to me, that feels like a line where you can, you should take, don't you think it feels like it should be something you take a chance with a couple figures instead of just doing the 92 Batman? Yeah. Take a chance and try something like the Danny DeVito Penguin or something like you wouldn't normally well, do. That's just what I think. And I think that this year, when you're talking about, again, not having a whole lot of material, I'm sure they could dive into more ahsoka come out with another 20 figures from there or they could pick wolverine and the deadpool movie and they can do 40 figures from there i don't think that that's really likely though i i really don't i mean i thought from last year that they were going to do balin and shin and that they're still not done um you know with the uh ahsoka series and uh, they teased a ton from the mandalorian season three a ton and you know grogu sells very very well the full scale one you see that already that that wait list if you look at a secondary market it's going above um the original retail price and i i just think that they ran out of time and capacity lane so much last year that they they're just that you're starting to see some of these figures now again what's the evidence the return of the jedi Han Solo, what an amazing figure that would have been in the 40th Return of the Jedi packaging. But again, it was obviously well, well made way before then. They just couldn't get it out. And you have to wonder, is it possible that we're also what's been on, they, they couldn't get out last year, is more from the Return of the Jedi line. Could we be getting a Jabba? Could we be getting a Chewbacca? Could we be getting a Princess Leia? And I say, yes. And even when you talk about stuff like this, and we've got the flashback up, could we be getting Christopher Reeve, George Reeve, could we be getting another Adam West that goes for Buku Bucks? Again, yep. Lane, 1500 Or they make it like they put it in a – or they just put the darn thing out, and it goes on wait list like that – remember that Christian Bale? I'm going to use an example. That Christian Bale armory yep. where everyone's like, ooh. And, and then in three months, it's on wait list, and it's been on wait list. Yep. They, they and how many of those did they make? I don't think they made a whole lot of uh, of those to be completely honest with you. And you do also have to ask yourself. This is an emergency interruption. 
This is an emergency. Interruption. This is an emergency. Interruption. This is Captain Crunch Collectors, and I am once again spending all my money to become the greatest collector in this community. So make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, because what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I take all of these dollars and smash it all over? Yeah! You just keep getting interrupted. That was Captain Crunch. Lane. What are you going to do when TK FOMO I, I, interrupts I, you? You know, I got I got a text message from Captain Crunch not too long ago, maybe a few days ago. Yep. And he told me he actually, uh, you know, is in league with you. That, you know, that he he actually, you know, he he's like getting some hot toys for you and stuff like that. What, what's going on with you and Captain Crunch, Lane? You got to tell me the story. I know not what you speak of as I lift sideways very shiftily. Ah, uh, really? Wow. So, so I think these are rumors and unfounded Aries. I think you are trying to spread unfounded rumors and crunch, crunchy news about me. Wait. May have to talk to the legal representative. So, so you're saying that that maybe Captain Crunch is wrong, and that what he's like. Something that happened before it didn't happen? Is it because of a different that reality? Now or... It's happening now. What happened to then? We passed then. When? Just now. Wear it now, now. Go back to then. When? Now. Now? Now. I can't. Why? We missed it. When? Just now. I was going to say, Aries, <laughs> you playing that crypt right there just reminds me of the one line. I would put Star Wars on hold for a little while if I could get a 1-6 scale from Spaceballs. Like, I'd be just like everybody. Just, no. just give me Darth Hel Give me Lord Helmet to Lone Star. To you can Bar. say Darth Helmet. I mean, it's okay. I know you're like Lord. You no. corrected yourself there. Yeah, anyway, Lord, ahead, Lord Helmet. Give me the space balls that are combing the desert. Give me yogurt with baseball. <laughs> yogurt ball. sounds about good right now, baby. Yeah, I know you might be feeling like you need some yogurt because we've been going for a bit. <laughs> um, but you know, like. I, dude, I would be all over a space ball of one six line. Give us dot matrix, just like that. Though I know probably that that's a very hardcore eighties thing, but I've watched that movie so many like fifteen times, and I would be like all over. So I know they literally cannot where they were allowed back in the eighties to actually make the movie, but man, if they could make a one six scale figure from that, would be fantastic. Anyway, but we got a. So Aries, if you had mm -hmm. to choose, like if you had to choose, like so you were put on the spot, you had to choose mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. between getting your Jabba's prisoner Leia or Hut and all her Hut slaying power. Oh, let's let you reference uh, Popsick here real quick. Well, yeah, hold that thought. Uh, oh, the Hut slaying power. You see, I got the Star Wars up over there because late as you're as you're going into that. Look, and I've I've talked about this. Uh just because, just because uh that Han Solo came out does not mean that Chewbacca necessarily is gonna come out just by himself. Doesn't mean that there's still not a two-pack of Han Solo and Chewbacca Lane and Popsic and all you Mick ancient action figure theorists out there along with me on a ride that they're still not going to go ahead and do it. As a matter of fact, I dare say, if they're going to give us a Chewbacca, please don't give it to us with the crappy hair. Give it to us with the artisan hair. And if you're going to give it to us with the artisan hair, what better way but to also give us a two-pack version for some that want it with Hod Solo artisan and there you go, baby. And that is exactly how they can do it. Shoot, they can even do it from any of one of these lies. They could do it from A New Hope. They could do it from uh, Empire Strikes Back. They could do it from The Return of the Jedi. Just remember, there has never been a Chewbacca release from Hot Toys 
that has not also been available in a two-pack with Han Solo. Come on. And now I'm making a lot of people do this. One more time because it's a two-pack. And maybe it'll come with a Grogu. And, and speaking of it, Grogu! <laughs> Sorry, Lay, what's that? I was just saying, just to do <laughs> third time for the charm. <laughs> and speaking of Grogu, and the third time is a charm, it's Popsick always on table five. And I gave Popsick a shout out before. And here's the man in here. Member for 33 Thank months. Much. Wow. Appreciate the support there, my friend. Listen. And never, ever, ever forget is once again, as a uh, single songwriter for like the 50th time, what another free membership for as little as I believe Aries, if I remember correctly, it's I don't even remember how much I've been paying for it for like however long it's been. I think $3.99. Per month, extra access to special videos. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. How much is a dozen oh, eggs? <laughs> like five fifty. <laughs> so it's less. You can get multiple weeks of entertainment for only three ninety nine. Can you get a gallon of gas, baby, in Orange County, California, for three ninety nine right now? Well, I <laughs> ate only two seventy three today, so I can. But I'm in Texas, so we got oil. You know, Texas. Too. You know, I do have yeah. some X's. I do have some X's. Who live. <laughs> if you have some, you have some X's. Okay, I need to get more info about these stories later. Listen, how about I just get a five pack of all these guys? You stuck up, half witted, scruffy looking nerf herder. Well, you, you Aries, you got to buy like at least three for yourself of hand. You got him with the jacket without. Oh the my jacket, dude! And then go in like his, the the dirt pose. That freaking Han Solo, I, I just love, love, love. Dude, they came out with Han Solo. Again, that's my whole, I mean, Lane, why didn't they come out with it in the packaging? Oh, I mean, when you point. really think of, think about this as a logical, like like if you're putting yourself outside, like you never collected hot toys. They had the 40th Isn't last year. In the 40th? Is he going to be in the 40th anniversary special package? No, it's not. He's not part of the 40th Return of the Jedi. No, it's not. It's so weird, isn't it? Yeah, hmm. I thought he was, but okay. Um, it, go, it goes. To, it goes to show you. No, it's not in the packaging. That they just ran out of. Why didn't they come out with Baywood and Shin last year before the holiday? Hmm. Well, they might have still been working on them with the head sculpts in there. That's body. true too. But if they came out with any more, they I, they the, 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 that that bail in it. That that's one thing with the. Well, here I'll, I'll make that point later. I, I will say something with the Ahsoka line, but so I'm, I'm not letting you get away from where I was putting you on the spot earlier. <laughs> I've been trying to sidetrack and combat. Like, wait, wait, wait. Don't let me get away. I'm trying to sidetrack. Thank you. Combat. You let me sidetrack lane or we're not sure if you watch again, the beginning of the show. If he's I'm, put, I'm, putting, I'm putting him on the spot. <laughs> uh, well, I got to say hi to combat evolve. Been here yep. a long time. Hang on. All right, go, 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 go. Okay. Put me on the spot. So I'm putting, I'm putting you back on the spot. And if uh, my buddy Katarn were here, I'd be putting him on the same spot too. Uh, if you have the choice, where you're only going to be able to get one, are you going to go for the Hut Slayer Leia Empower, uh, or are you going to go for the Chewbacca to go with your Return of the Jedi hand? You may not necessarily get. Both. Well, wait a minute. Why, why, you're saying I can't get both. Got to get one or the other. That's what your choice. How he's putting you on the clock. All right. Now ask me the question again. <sighs> so you have a choice between where you can finally get, because I know you've been pounding on the video now for probably six months to a year, that uh, Hut Slayer Leia, or you can find, get that Chewbacca to st now go with your Return of the Jedi Han. Which one are you going to take? Okay, well, wait a minute. I say that I'm going to take... Wait a minute. Oh, I'm getting a no. call. Could it be from the, the 13th hot. Skull? Oh, the hot hold that thought, thought. Hold that thought. Coming in. <clears throat> Hello? A collect call from Endor. Uh, like, like, Endor. Like, the planet Endor. Like, 
Yes, I, I, I accept the charges. Hello? 13th Skull. What's going on? Mm-hmm. You're with Wayne. Mm-hmm. Lane Kramer. Mm. But Lane, Lane Kramer's like, like with me. Like, we went over this before. Like, well, that was, that was Howard. Okay. Okay, so, in, right. Mm -hmm. And you have Chewbacca and a Hut Slayer Leia two-pack. So you're saying that <laughs> in your reality, to answer Lane, I don't have to choose because in your reality, there's a two-pack and I could get them both. Well, how do I get that here so I could tell Lane that I could get them both? You're, you're gonna you're gonna tell Howard over here in this reality to come out with a Hut Slayer, Chewbacca, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you're adding an R2, and you're adding a 3PO, so you're making it a four pack. Mm -hmm. And when are you gonna bring this here? Before the end of the year. Oh, oh, Skull, can I talk to that Lane? Skull, Skull. Uh, sorry, Lane. I was going to try to pass you the phone here so you could talk to, you know. Here, here you go, Lane. Can, can you can you grab it? Well, there you go. That's the answer to your friend, Lane. I'm going to go to another dimension where the 13th skull was, and I'm going to get Leia, Hutzlayer Leia, and Chewbacca in a two pack. And there you go. Wow, that that thanks to the interdimensional beings was quite <laughs> a. <laughs> Positively Swan Lake ballet dance pirouette around, through, and flipping through my question. That was great. Well, and look oh, here. I, I, I maybe I I don't know if if pop culture, if he's like in if if it costs in this dimension or if he was with the 13th skull and Endor in a different dimension, but he's in here. What's going on, buddy? And when I'll say woo again, because he said it. Woo! Woo! Good to have you in here, my friend. What is going on? 13th Skull. This is so much fun. I'm having so much fun with this here. And Pop Culture Living Room, he says, and I say, yes. But listen, you, Lane, Lane, I answered your question. Because this is what they call me. They dude. call him the wizard. I will always say, agree. You are very good at casting your spell. <laughs> uh lane this was so much fun and i think we're at the two hour mark and yeah, that's what i that. promised and now i am too pooped to pop my spotchka open and it's time for me to go eat some uh off-world jawa scrambled eggs <laughs> come on wow baby okay guys it has been fantastic to spend the last couple, couple hours with you. We hope you have had a fantastic evening. Once again, do not forget to hit the like button, please, on the way out this evening. Uh, catch, uh, as always, some of Aries' wonderful video content. That's not going away. Don't worry. Aries is going to use the Hot Toys Wizard to stop time and space to give him the effort and ability so that he can still keep pumping out all those wonderful videos and content for us as well as uh, the um membership videos as well and exclusives long history of providing excellent content for doing for only 3.99 a month less than a dozen eggs as aries <laughs> would make sure to let us know and you know Hopefully, we'll uh, be able to see you guys some more here going forward. And just keep checking out because during the week, I'm sure Aries will have some more wonderful examination of the secondary market, as well as what could be coming, what is what gets announced and released, what could that mean for the you know future for lines that might be coming for them, or a character or characters that might be able to be paired with them as time goes on. Well, thank you so much there, Lane. I really appreciate that. And is it possible that you're correct? And I say, yes, we have got more, more content coming out. We've got a few shows coming out, a couple of shows anyway, this week coming out. And uh, I kind of like this whole Sunday gig. So uh, 
I think we're, we're I think we're going to go ahead and, and keep this going. I had so much fun, and uh, it's good to hear. Note: Single songwriter says Hod Solo came out of left field, just yeah. like when Best Man Luke came out comparison. of. Yes, and what Joe P says is right. When the Hod was announced, I thought Aries might self combust. Look, I'm just hunting the thirteenth skull right now, man, and just. You know, he couldn't get he, uh, by force of will. I'm chasing these ancient. Well, look, I'm chasing these ancient action figures like this that I showed earlier. Captain Jack, this DX06, and who knows what else I am going to unearth, what I'm going to dig up on my well, hunt feel, for the 13th I feel, skull. I figure I have a feeling that Captain Jack is saying right now to the deadliest bounty hunter on the high seas this is the day he you almost successfully hunted captain jack sparrow we hold up that boba fett a little bit a little bit higher closer like like give me the head sculpt okay now you've just earned this i'm boba fett i'm here to see the mayor boba fett um, do you have an appointment? But hey, that's one thing. Just look how, if you ever want to just see, we just looked at that and how detailed Hot Toys is in their recreation. Look, well, look at how exactly. detailed this is, baby. Oh, I've geez, got, what is that? The my Boba, Boba Fett, Fett is twice the size as yours, Ooh. as now I've got the quarter scale one, baby. Oh, you did get the quarter scale? Wow. Yeah, I, I look at the size of this box. Goodness <laughs> gracious. It's gargantuan. Yeah. So, well, uh, again. If you to know, hey, that, that lets you know, Aries, if you're getting that video game Venom figure, that's about the same size the box will be when it comes. So it's <laughs> a six scale figure. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Well, listen. That's it. I'm over two hours. I like this. I'm back. Um, look for all the recorded content. Hit the like button on your way out. Um, love you all in here. This is awesome. How do I end this? Do I remember how to do Oh, yes, of course. Just like I do my, my pre-recorded shows. I got to make sure I got my right ending queued up here. Uh, there it is. I don't always spill coffee, tread water, and then try to sober up with some spotchka. But when I do, <laughs> baby. <laughs> mm. I do it right here at the Six Scale Cantina. Stay thirsty, my friends.